Now we're going to reprogram the recorder. In order to program it, we'll need access to the program menu, so it must be turned on in the enable mode. You can refer to our enable mode video for instructions on that. In this example, we're going to program the unit for a 12 hour, 90 to 190 Fahrenheit chart. To program the recorder, we first have to press the scroll key repeatedly until we see program appear on the left display. Once we have that, we'll press the down arrow key, we'll see pen 1, and we're going to do pen 1 first, so we press the down arrow key again, and now we're at the input select. When we see input select, we're going to press the scroll key, and this value needs to be set to 21 for RTD input. So we press the up arrow key several times to get that to 21. Once we have 21 on the display, we press the scroll key, we're going to see ICOR. We're now going to press the down arrow key repeatedly until we get to CRU for chart range upper. Once we see CRU, we're going to press the scroll key and we'll see a 200 there. We're using a 90 to 190 chart, so the chart range upper needs to be set to 190. I use the down arrow key to set that to 190. Once I have that on the display, I'll press the scroll key and I'll see CRL, that's for chart range lower. Scroll again and that value is at zero. We want to run that up to 90 so I can actually press and hold the up arrow key. The longer you hold it, the faster it'll go. You can run that up to 90. If you happen to go past it, you can use the down arrow key to bring that back down to 90. Once we have that set at 90, we hit our scroll key one time, goes to PAEC. We now want to hit our down arrow key to get over to INPS on the right hand display. Once we have INPS, we're going to hit our scroll key and again we need to change this value to 21 so we're going to use our up arrow key. Once we have this set at 21, we press the scroll key to see ICOR and now we're going to use our down arrow key and press that until we get to CRU on the right hand display. Again, that's for chart range upper. We press our scroll key, that's at 200. We want to drop that down to 190. We use our down arrow key. Once we're at 190, we press our scroll key to go to chart range lower, scroll again. We have zero there. We're going to press and hold our up arrow key to run that up to 90. If we get close, we can just let go and then press it repeatedly. We just want to get that value up to 90. Once we're at 90, we press the scroll key. We have PAEC. Now we're going to hit the down arrow key to go over to the left hand display. We see CRT. That's for chart rotation time. With CRT, we press our scroll key and we see a value of 1.0. Uh, we want 12.0 on there because we're running a 12-hour chart. Again, we can press and hold that up arrow key. The longer we hold it, the faster it goes. If you go past it, again, you go back to the down arrow key. Once we have that set at 12.0, we hit the scroll key one time. We'll see PAPU. Now to exit this menu, we hit the up arrow key. That brings us back to program on the display. But we want to go into operating mode, so we're going to press the scroll key repeatedly until we see OPER. Once we have OPER, we're going to hit the down arrow key, and that puts us into operating mode.